Hey, what's up, people? This is Pinarios, and welcome back to Spider-Man Miles Morales. So this is a little weird of a start for a video, but I was on my way over to the location for our mission today, and I got shot out of the sky. So I paused before anything else happened, and we're just going to hop into it. Last episode was pretty crazy with Finn and I being captured and us seeing that our uncle sort of helped our capture, even reluctantly, but it looks like things are heating up, so let's just jump into it. Oh no, it looks like he actually shot us out of the sky, of course. Uh, here we go. Might actually have to fight our uncle. Can't let you go back out there. Let Krieger and the Tinkerer kill each other. Go back to being Spider-Man when the heat dies down. And what? Just hide down here? I don't get to pick and choose when I'm Spider-Man. I gotta stop Finn. No, you gotta survive. I've been trying to teach you that, but you don't listen. You want me to survive so bad? Why sell me out to Krieger? Wasn't a sellout. <sighs> yeah. I'm serious. You were never supposed to get caught. Krieger broke our deal. You want it back in the family, and that's the best you could do? I saved your life. You threw me in a cell. To protect you. Like this is protecting me? Damn it, Miles. I'm not gonna lose you, too! And I'm not gonna let people die just to save my skin. You underestimated me. Hell yeah, Miles. Damn it, no! Alright, looks like we gotta do this. Don't fight me on this! I don't want to! But I, I can go on invisible, too. Oh, okay, apparently you can see me. Okay, alright, I gotta focus. I haven't played in a couple days. All right, I have to short out his suit. Is that what you're saying? Okay. This isn't about me at all. It's about you. Use Venom ability to short out Carlos' camouflage and make him vulnerable. Okay, good to know. All right, let's focus. Let's go ahead and heal. I'll build up my powers again. When are you gonna understand? You can't do that if you're dead. There we go. That was good. He can't counter every trick. All right, let's let's back up. Looks like we can get a takedown on him. Let's get that takedown. Hell yeah. You don't realize I'm the only one trying to save you. And I'm trying to save everyone else. I was going to put a brand new suit on that I just got, but I think we're going to keep this suit. What is this? Okay. Oh, all right. You're going to make me use Mega Blast on you, and I might end up killing you. Interesting. Let's stay invisible for a bit. He doesn't know where I am. All right, it's going out. Gosh, he's so quick. All right, I think we're going to have to dodge and then... Yeah, we're going to have to get a perfect dodge. That's the only way to actually stun him. There we go. Come on, Miles, get over there. I'm done proving myself to you. What the nice. You can't counter anything. You talk too much. Throw yourself 
up at enemies you can't beat. Know who else did that? Don't say his name! You want your mom to bury you too? I won't let you. You're just asking for a mega blast. More tech from your buddies at Rockstone? You can't keep up. You're naive, nephew. Still the kid looking up to spike me. No, I'm the kid who knows people are looking up to me. Where are you? Yeah, he doesn't know where I am either. All right, let's turn this off. Let's let him get a little bit close. Let's prepare. Come on. There we go. Let's get a takedown. Let's get another one. Oh wow, nice. Good job. How far will you take? You're gonna kill yourself proving you deserve that man. If that's what you take. You literally stand no chance. I'm sorry. Alright, let's get up there. Ooh. You literally stand no chance. I'm sorry, Uncle Aaron. Just be happy I didn't use Mega Blast. I know I messed up. I let you down. What family? Family? That didn't stop you from lying to me, manipulating me, fighting me. Being family isn't enough anymore. Doesn't have to be like this. You, me, hating each other. That's how it happened between me and your dad. I don't want to repeat that. I don't either. But I can't be the person you want to turn me into. I can't turn my back when people need me. I had to be better than that. Okay, that was a good warm-up fight. I definitely probably should do some some crimes before I go into a game. Good Daddy, lord. My uncle just kidnapped me. Locked me up. What? Dude, are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I, I told him, we're done. We're good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. This is what I had to do. I'm headed to the science center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. Okay, so I want to show you a suit that I got for completing all of the bases in the game. It's called the Programmable Matter Suit. And it I got it from taking some of the underground tech. It looks interesting. It's a little strange. But I think we'll wear it for this episode. This might actually be the last episode. But I think it looks interesting. Let's get a closer look at it. It probably looks really good in cutscenes. But let's get over to our next mission. Yeah, I like the way that the suit sort of... You can see like the, how the light goes on the suit. It looks really cool. But let's get over here. And let's see what we're going to get ourselves into. I just, I like the polygons. This is your last chance to upgrade your gear and abilities before the end of the story. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's look. Let's see what we have for gadgets. I think everything has to be done in New Game Plus. Yep, New Game Plus. New Game Plus. We could probably upgrade this. Yeah, let's upgrade this. Even though I barely use this. But we might as well, right? Yep, New Game Plus. Okay. I think I am fully ready. Now, what about for skill points? We have two skill points. What can we get? Venom Punch does bonus damage when you use while camouflaged. Okay, sounds good to me. And then we have when defeating an enemy with Venom attacks, the final blow doesn't cost camouflage energy. Okay. And then hold L1 and R1 to yank down stealth cocoon enemies. I'm probably not going to make much use of that. Let's go for this one. Just because. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to finish off this game. Let's go ahead and do it. This is your last chance. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm glad they give us a warning before the point of no return. You see him close to renovation and the underground moves right in. Ben's gotta be inside. You're gonna beat up the underground using their own tech. It'll change everything. Ben's ran the city for years. After the plaza, 
Okay, looks like we have a lot of people to take down. We could probably go ahead and take down this dude right here. It does say he's safe, but people might find him. You know what? Let's just start off with these two. Those two should be done really soon. Excuse me, how are you walking away from the radius? Alright, you're done. Alright, I think you can go over there. Yeah, go check that out. Seeing as you walked away from the other one. Alright, you're done. It's sort of hard to see where I can go to get that guy. Oh yeah, let's go up here. This should be good. Alright, fine. We'll just take him out here. Don't know why I couldn't grab him from over there. Looks like we got a sniper over here. Let's get up here. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. Looks like we got three people together. I could probably take out two of them. With that, yeah, there we go. Hit it. Okay, that's done. Let's get back up here. Let's make our way over to the snipers up here. Yeah, let's go make over our way over to the snipers. I might only be able to get one of them because this person obviously has a a helper. All right, here we go. Hey, underground. I'm here now. Jeez, let's heal. Let's go for this guy. Sniper rifle. It's tons of damage. Woo. over there I missed that oh gosh oh wow that hit <sighs> super hard all right let's use some decoys this should be good all right I think this person's done yeah that person's done sorry decoy I gotta take this one gotta heal Okay, I think that was everybody. Not too bad. All right. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Find the generators and disable. Oh, okay, like we did last time. That's easy enough. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Link power to the shutters like to disable them. Mobile. What am I attaching this to? He says the giant, the giant spinning mobile. Oh, this thing. Okay. So if I pull this over here. Okay, so we have a little puzzle on our hands. Yeah, this will work. Webs won't reach. They won't reach. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't reach either. So what the hell do I attach this to? Okay, what about, can I bring this over? Maybe I need something that pulls out further. Dang, that reaches. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error, but we got this. All right, come on, Miles, let's punch this. All right, that's one. That's one, feeling good. All right, let's see if I can attach this to this. Okay, that's two. Well, this is gonna work. All right, easy. This is working. Now more. we need to get over here. Seems <coughs> gonna be musty. Okay, now gotta attach this to this. That's not gonna work. 
So I think we need to pull this again. I would assume so, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's see. From what direction? Can't pull it from there. Yeah, it won't let me. Link shutters. Yeah, I know. Okay. That works. Oh, okay. So, do it like this. There we go. That works. Now yes. both of them are open. Okay, that's one. I saw one more. Can't believe how well this is working. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself, man. Alright, let's get over to this one. So, let's see. How do we do this one? This one needs to attach to something over here. Now, where's the little piece? Right here? Okay. So, we attach this to this. And that opens? That was easy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Sweet. Time to break down the ground's toys. Alright, let's do a Venom Smash on this door. This suit's a little weird, but I think it does look good in, like, cutscenes. you here? The future of science is today. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> so this is the place where they won their, uh, their science fair. And this is what she's going to use to try to overcharge the new form. She's got to be further inside. All right, let's go. Looks like we got a tech cache here. Underground cache. Yeah. All right, let's get up there. Ben, come on. We need to finish this. You and me. got to be with our project down that hall all right not seeing anything suspicious around here but i have a feeling as soon as we jump down there things are gonna get a little hairy all right let's do the smiles i like how the color changes on the hands See our project Welcome. while we're still young. Where tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Hey, we might as well take a look around, right? Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. <laughs> Kale's horrible. <laughs> What's over here? This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. <laughs> walking through here reminds me so much of being Aloy and walking through the different ruins in Horizon Zero Dawn. I really can't wait for Forbidden West to come out. Oh man. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, 
We could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What? You scared? Of sharks? The dark? Tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. <laughs> it reminds me of Subnautica. Definitely don't want to live under the sea. Absolutely terrifying. I don't even think I want to live in space. Even though that's some of my favorite things to read in games to play. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! <laughs> Howard the anglerfish? What's this? The Earth is bigger than you think. Ninety-five percent of the Water Earth's planet? oceans remain unexplored and could be the wow. next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Only like, what is it? Ten percent of the ocean is actually mapped. That's pretty terrifying. What do you think? It's amazing. Got some scuba gear here. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. <laughs> Let's right. go to the main hall. Let's go, Finn. Wow. Look at this. Alright, so this is where we currently are now. Special exhibits of This looks amazing. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Hey, it's like you read my mind, Finn. I definitely want to look around. Alright, what do we got over here? Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them. Scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. This episode is definitely going to be a little long, but that's okay. I, th I have a feeling it's going to be the last one. So we're going to enjoy our time here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Got an Oscorp shuttle there. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. <laughs> Would any of you want to live on Mars? Just seeing barely any sun with a red planet? Not being able to breathe actual air. I don't know. I don't know if I want to live on Mars. Using a shape memory alloy or memory metal, Oscorp this is cool. created this, Look at this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery and even in your own home. Whoa, check Wait it out. Wait a minute, is this her programmable no, matter? I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Of course. This is where she got the idea for programmable matter. Yep, she made this so much better. Holy crap. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Nope. Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Fair enough. So I can't run, so we can we can only move at this pace. She can sprint though. Oh, that's cool. I think we've covered everything. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. 
Oh, we missed something. We got a rover over here. And one more thing over there. Adapted from models currently used on the moon. Can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources. The Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals. Carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got something over here as well. Oh, that was for the rover. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady over here. Oh, wait, no, we missed something. Solar mirror. Already popular on Earth. Could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Having your own solar panel that's small. Hello. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Seriously? Thanks, anyway. She can't be serious. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Our project is literally on display in this museum, and we can't go in? That's insane. Let's go. Locked. Come on, Finn. I know you have some magic. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Solar panel. Something reflective. I got it. Nice now I can run. Something mutable. Hell yeah. You mean change his shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. All right, let's grab one of these. Oh, hey, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. I'm glad we looked around. That's awesome. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Something we can slide under the door? Maybe one of the uh, programmable matter things? Could we take this? This seems a little iffy, but if we can take one of these, hell yeah. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. Change the shape. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's wow. Go. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, Pete. All good. Oh no, these two. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Doctor freaking off. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. All right, let's go. I couldn't do this without you. Of course you couldn't. Then you kill us on and betray us all. All right, let's go. This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's what I'm naming it. Genius or really, really stupid. For all your R&D needs. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. Wow. Dream team. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, change the shape. Okay, let's change it again. Okay, I think that is... Is that good? Okay, I think that last one was good. Yeah, that's good enough. Use flashlight. That worked! We did it! Come on! Our project awaits. Wow, that was pretty cool. Alright, let's go. 
Come on, Finn. That was awesome. It sure was. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. You suck. Ben says hi. Go back Did to you your desk. Fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay. We'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Wow. It's even cooler up here. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. Look at this. There's so much to look at. Okay. We're gonna be here for a while. I'm sorry. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp Nuclear Reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. New form. Do we need to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Man, the calm before the storm. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. Charge. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. This thing's big. Oh yeah, got a shuttle here. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Hmm. All right, I think we looked at everything on this side. Let's go check our this project. out. All right, this is their uh, energy converter. Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, hold up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. <laughs> there she is. Hey, Finn. Finn, you need to know. I'm done listening to you. Alright, big boy. Are we doing this? Do I have any venom? Of course not. Why would I have venom? Alright. Well, you gotta tell her and stop saying I need to tell you something and just say it. 
Okay. You know what? We need to uh, go invisible real quick. Get some venom. All right, let's get in the air real quick. I need to build up some venom. Perfect, there we go. All right, you need to go. Shit. Oh, gadgets, obviously. All right, let's shoot that out. Keep forgetting to use my gadgets, like, a lot. Gotta use my gadgets more. It's like the last mission, I'm not using my gadgets. Oh, we almost got hit there. These big guys don't get up. Okay, we got him. We good? Nope, we're not good. Let's go, move. All right, let's get some health. Block that. Overcharge. Okay, we got a new trophy. Come here. Oh, get out of the way for that one. You just shot your friend there. Come here. All right, let's get back up here. We're gonna get a takedown on this guy. All right, nope, thought we were done. Get a takedown on you, should be get, give everything back. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I was waiting for more people. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love that. That never gets old. Oh man. <sighs> All right. All right, we got a finisher. I'll use it on this person. Whoa, 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 where did those come from? Is that a bonus of this suit? I think that's a bonus of this suit. Special takedowns. <laughs> that was awesome. What the hell? Okay, I was gonna take off this suit, but I'm keeping the suit on if we get takedowns like that. What else did we get? That was amazing. Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Holy shit. Rocks on an underground are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. It was about a dozen diesel. You're breaking up. Who are you? Yankee. If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. All right. Normally, I would end the episode, but we're going to keep going. I think we're gonna go into this to it's over. Never seen a storm this bad. And we have a snowstorm to deal with? Oh man. Alright. We're almost there. Genki. Can you hear me? Genki! Alright, let's go take these guys out before they destroy any more of Harlem. Whoa, whoa, okay. That was unnecessary. Let's go ahead and camouflage, pick up all this stuff, go take out this guy. All right, let's take out everybody. All right, we gotta heal. So many people. Do I have any more of these? Yes, I do. All right, throw that over there and destroy everybody. 
quickest way to kill everybody. Or to incapacitate everybody, I should say. I gotta do some more takedowns. I'm waiting for those special ones. Oh god, that hurt. Okay, we gotta go to the roof now. Let's go, Miles. This gun. Come on, get over here. Okay, I think we're good. Nope, we got one more over here. Come here. Okay, you're done. Nice. Got some rocks on dudes over here. That was a good one. Okay, you should be webbed up now. Okay, this person's webbed up. Let's get over and get a takedown on this person. Good. I don't think I've ever built up two. I usually just use the takedowns when I have them. Come here. Okay, that person's done. Was there another person over here? Nope. Got a jumping person over here. Are you Roxon? No, you're not. Roxon doesn't jump. Who are you? Oh, you're dead. Jeez. Roxon destroyed you. Come here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Genki. Genki, I'm headed in. Who are you? Hiding in Tails Bodega. It's really bad. You gotta get you're in Tails Bodega. I'm close, but I need to take care of Roxon and the underground before the streets are safe. Okay, we're done. Apartment building. Please don't burn down. Getting lost in the No, don't go down. Go up. Need to head toward the gunfire. Press the wrong button. Went down instead of up. We almost got hit by a rocket there. Lady, focus on who you're fighting. Don't fight me. Okay, come here. Yes. Look at that. Oh, man. That was cool. I love those uh, ones that actually use the, uh, the suit. That's really cool. I don't know what causes it. I think it's random. So this is sort of like the uh, the other suit in the last game. Down here. All right, let's go. This looks like a perfect moment for this over here. Come on, Look, get over here. I wanted more people, but we'll do this. All right, let's build up some takedowns. That's a grenade. Crap. All right, we're gonna go invisible for a second. Jeez. Whew. All right, we got two takedowns. We'll use it on you. Okay, I think we're good. Holy crap, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. Genki, Genki, where are you? Can you guys make a break for it? Who's that? Someone there? Guys! Guys! Listen, hey! We need to get out of here! But I can only carry some of you! Jesus, she set it off already? Oh, she started already. Get out of here, young blood. Whoa. Thanks for helping, Uncle Aaron. You've got more important things to do. 
He's right. Go. We'll get people clear. I'll be back. I know. This suit's awesome. Check every door. <laughs> we don't leave anyone behind. Oh man. Am I gonna have to kill Finn? That's gonna suck. No! You don't know what you're doing. Just they say it. What's coming to them. No, the reactor. Krieger changed the specs. You're not just going to destroy Rockstar Plaza. You're going to vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not going to let you lie to me again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Finn. You're too late. Stop me. It's kind of poetic. Fought my uncle in the suit he Don't made for me. Fight her in the suit that I took from her. Let's get some uh, decoys out here. Really? Give me a break she reacts to those? Wow. She actually reacts to the holograms. <laughs> That's cool. I don't want to fight. We'll talk. After I disable the react. Jesus. Every single suit has wear and tear. They did such good work on this game. Whoa, okay. Keep hiding. I can wait. I'm sure you can. You can eat that too. There you are. Did you feel that? We have to stop the reactor. All right, waiting for my invisibility to come back up. All right, Miles. Now's my chance. She's stuck. Hiding won't help you now. Come on, grab this. Throw it at her. Get in there. Come on. Gotcha. You don't have anything. Oh, God. Did she redirect that? I think she redirected it. Shit. 
Okay, go invisible. Gotta heal. Let's get close. Alright, we're good. God, come on. Get in there. Throw this at her. Sure you will. Let's go. I'm so glad she can't see me when I'm invisible. Makes this fight so fair. Alright, Finn. Have some speed. There we go. Hell yeah. I think I threw her off the building. What is this God of War? The way she just threw me like she was Balder. Whew. Not today, Finn. This fight is freaking amazing. Come on, get up there, Miles. Jesus. Okay. We're gonna have to use Mega Blast on her. All right, you know what? Let's try it. Get in there. <laughs> it's one of those, I think I just killed my best friend moment. She should be dead. It's okay, though. God, Miles. This is so good. I think I broke your backpack. This shouldn't be happening. No I shit. Can you absorb that much energy? You'll die, dude. Don't win, Stacy. Her, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. This reminds me so much of Man of Steel with the terraforming. All right, Miles, we got this. Come on. 
This is insane. I thought last episode was crazy. Can you actually absorb all of this? I guess we'll see. Just let go. Everyone? Okay. We're safe. All of us. What a great game. He's so young. Hey, get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? He's our Spider-Man. Four weeks later. Come on, those are clearly deep fakes. They're deep fakes. You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you. Yeah, will... yeah, we know who you are. I will own you. Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, aka the Prowler, flipped on him and Roxxon. Davis will serve time, but could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. 
And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Looking good, Haley. Hey, Pete's back. Man, I still can't get over that suit. So cool. I know. Be me. <laughs> yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time. Yeah, that was fantastic. Even better than the first game. Yeah, that was amazing. All right, everybody. So if there is nothing else after the credits, I think that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. I'm probably going to cut out the song that's currently playing, but I will post what it is on the screen because I am probably going to get copyright claimed. But anyways, if you enjoyed the series please let me know what your favorite episode was because I think this might have been my favorite one, especially the ending there with Finn running up the building and sacrificing herself. I thought that was awesome. But like I said, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. If you ever want to get in contact with me, you can follow on Twitter at Pernarios Gaming, or you can join the Discord, which is in the description of all of my videos. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Later. Residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Roxxon Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, newly elected city councilwoman Rio Morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good, circulatory system healthy, um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease want his could... Cuff. Kurt. But we may be underestimating the potential danger... I said... Get him out! Now! Bye, Finn.